Hooray for art things! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is me practicing coloring with Copic markers and using practice sketches out of my sketchbook. I am very rusty at drawing people and I wanted to practice, so I used this character that I created recently for my D&D campaign. She is an Asimar cleric. Her name is Chell. I am not sold on her name simply because I stole it from The Road to El Dorado. She is Mayan. I will change it when I find something that I really like. Until then, Chell, everybody. <laughs> so here I am using a polychromos pencil crayon to outline the very pale lines that I have. I like watching this video because it makes me feel like I'm better than I am. I'll, there's no lines and then all of a sudden this character appears out of nowhere. I must be amazing. It's not true. It's all a lie. Uh, there's very pale lines underneath that I'm following. People who draw really know that. It's funny how the computer or the computer, the camera washes it out. It always makes it look cooler than it is. The magic is ruined. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> so Tell is a character I created. I'm running a campaign. I'm the DM, but we only have four of us total playing. So I created her just as a heal bot. She doesn't do anything. She doesn't drive the story. She just heals everybody else when I kill them because I'm good at killing my players. I'm really good at it. And I mean, this is a beginning campaign from a box and I can still kill my players. <laughs> uh, I should be more ashamed of that than I am. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so, uh, I put her in scale mail. I tried to, I tried to dress this character in what I feel like she's wearing at the beginning of the campaign we're running. She's wearing basic scale mail. She has a mace. She has some basic healing. So she looks very simple. The scale was not simple. Um, I don't know if I will ever draw scale mail again. I shouldn't say that because I know I will because I like the effect. It was just I'm not used to things taking a long time. Usually I draw something in five minutes and I'm happy and I'm gone. This took more than five minutes, but I'm really happy with how it looks. Yeah. So on her neck is a little medallion that I found. I looked up Mayan symbolry and this camp. I can't remember what it was for. I, I'll figure it out again, but I really liked it and I thought it would be a really fitting uh, piece to hold a cloak together, so I put it on there. And I colored it green for Jade. Here's me coloring her skin and ruining it. <laughs> I am so rusty. I It's been so long since I've really tried to do anything. I don't know the planar face anymore. I don't know how to shade anymore. So really what this is going to be is an adventure in me de-rusting my art. I'm going to be putting up videos of me practicing and relearning everything that I have ever forgotten about illustration and drawing and hopefully by the end of the world, because that's how long it's going to take, I will have a skill that I am proud of instead of me going, oh look, I'm an artist, here's my sketchbook of stick people, which my stick people suck. So. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to get so rambly. I'm sorry. <laughs> this, this, hopefully this series will be me practicing and getting better and becoming happy with the skill level I have started to create since grade six, which is a long time ago. I couldn't even tell you how many years ago that is. Um, this is, I used purple in the shading in this art piece, this picture, to try and cool it off. I like the look of when I watch a lot of the other YouTubers and they use the multitude of colors um, like Sacquems and Ramutan. They all use those wonderful cool colors and the purples and the blues to do their shading and I absolutely adore those. So this is me practicing that in her skin and on the chainmail a little bit. Then I lose sight of it and stop doing it for her cape and her hair. Which, yeah. I don't like her rainbow hair. I mean, I love it. I love her rainbow hair. I don't think it suits this picture. So I may not keep it in the future. I know the mini that I have of her is painted with rainbow hair and rainbow wings and everything. And it looks great, but I don't think it suits this picture. Maybe because her face is too long and her eyes are too 
uh, I want to say normal. Normal's not the word I'm looking for. Too tame for being outlandish and outlandish. She's not... It's basically, I took this really basic fantasy character and then threw rainbow hair on her. It just doesn't fit in. So I don't think I'll keep it. Off to the side there, you see my thumbnails for color swatching. I colored her chainmail and I colored her gloves and I colored her hair. And then I realized I had no idea where I was going with my color. And then I went, oh, well, I guess I should have swatched it before I started. And so it became kind of a challenge to see what would go good with what I already had. So that's what you're seeing there. That's where the break was. Um, I also am filming in a lot of smaller chunks. I have to film when my son has his naps, which are short and few and far between. So the lighting is going to change a lot in this. I know at one point the camera quality drops. Not sure what happened there. Um, I haven't changed anything. I, it was, I moved my camera because I'm filming with my phone because I don't have anything else to film with right now. So the quality kind of dips and it probably will flip flop back and forth. Um, yeah. Um, so just for the next little while, I'm going to say this. I am not looking for art critique right now, uh, simply because I am learning. I am trying to follow tutorials. I'm trying to take what I like from watching fellow YouTubers. I'm trying to to find what I like in my own art. So for right now, I'm just going to say, take it easy on the critique simply because it's probably just going to fall on deaf ears until I ask for one. Um, right here, you can tell my hands suck. Um, my face structure sucks. My fabric structure sucks. I need to do a lot of work before I can take a critique. Um, that will go anywhere. Um, right now it'll just fall on deaf ears, but I do appreciate them and I will ask for critiques in the future and then feel free, fire away. Um, yeah. So it clearly has been a very long time since I have done anything on this channel. I think it has been almost a year because I think it was October of last year that I posted a video last I was not expecting quite the learning curve having a kid brings. And I'm just now starting to feel like I can do my own thing again with him in the picture, which is fine. It takes a while. I've, it's not the first time you'll hear that from anybody. It's not, it, we all have trouble with, we all learn. I just took a long time. I took, I took a really long break. So hopefully next year around, we're going to say probably May, I will have another video for you guys. That sounds about the right timeline. And I'm just kidding. I hope <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm going to try and post some more because I do like filming. Uh, doing these voiceovers is really cathartic for me. I filmed this voiceover probably 50 times before I just gave up and gave you this awkward jumble of words thrown on the page. And so the more I do it, the better I'll get, right? Everybody starts somewhere and this is my starting point and my restarting point. This is Chell again. I changed her hair, I changed her eyes, and I put her in a modern dress. And then I gave her that same Mayan symbol that I found as a necklace. And I like the fact that it looks like it could be Jade. So I think I'm going to keep it as Jade. I should look up Jade in their history and see how that works. Colors look better. Um, the shading is crap. <laughs> Don't look at the shading. If I can hide the shading that comes up later, I would. I like her hair so much better. I like the pop of color in that nice dark hair. I might try to do the rainbow in that instead of just one color. Or maybe she'll just have random colors every time you see her. Like we all change our hair once a week. Um, the dress I picked was kind of, a, one of those modern flowy dresses with the lace on top. I really like those, those lace dresses. I think they're very pretty. So I put Chell in one. I'm really ignoring that hand. It's terrible. There it is. There's the lace. It's very simple lace. I didn't put any design in it, just enough to make it look like lace. So this was my practice pieces. Uh, stay tuned in the future for more practice pieces. And welcome to my journey of me relearning how to draw just about everything and use my markers. Yes, I ended my video way too soon. <laughs> the finished pieces are coming right up here so you can see them side by side. And then I will see everyone next time. Bye. And that's a wrap. I don't think that was too terrible. <laughs>